In modern apps, download feature is essential because it enables user to save files, document or media for offline access. It enhances user convenience and ensures accessibility even without internet connectivity. From e-learning to e-commerce, this feature helps in delivering a seamless and reliable user experience. Hi, I'm Gaurav from KnowHow Academy. So, Flutterflow recently introduced the download feature so that our user could download the file or media in our Flutterflow app. So before moving any further, let me tell you what you are going to learn in this video. In this video, we are going to understand our download action and implement it in our Flutterflow app. We are going to use a PDF viewer widget and below that we will add a button to download our PDF. Also, we are going to create an image gallery with the help of our grid view and we will implement download action to download multiple images so first in my blank app in my column i will add a pdf viewer and in my column i will add a padding of 20 and after that i will add a button to save our PDF and in the button text I will write save PDF now in my PDF viewer I need to add my PDF URL so first I will go here and write sample PDF I will click on the first link and here I will copy the URL and paste it in our network path now in my save pdf button i will open the action flow and on tab action i will select download file and here in the url i will paste the same url which i added in my pdf viewer and i need to add my file name so whenever our user download the file the downloaded file will be named as the name which we provide so I will name it my PDF. So we have added our action. Now we need to test it in our testing mode. So here our testing session is loaded and this is our PDF file in our PDF viewer. Now when I click on save PDF, so my PDF is downloaded here and the name of my PDF is my PDF. So our download action is working for our PDF file. Now how we can use it for our multiple images. So for that I will remove this and this button. So now we will just create a grid view grid view and in my grid view I will add an image now I want an icon overlapping the image so I will wrap my image in a stack widget and here I will add an icon and the icon will be our download and the icon color will be this color and now I will just drag it on the bottom right now to display multiple images we can use a backend but here now I will just create an app state name images which will be of type image path which will be a list and create now I will just add some sample images URL so I will search here images and here I will copy the image address and in add item I will paste address here also I will add another and another one 
now we have added our image address and created our app state we will go to our grid view and here in the generate children from variable i will select the app state images path click on confirm and we'll name the variable images and confirm now in our image path i will set the path images and in our download icon in our stack i have to move the stack under this wrap the widget in our stack and icon should be in the stack Done. I will remove this one and in our download action I will add the action download file now as you can see here we can add only string type so this is our image path variable type so i will go to my custom function and create a function to convert image path to string and in the code copilot i will add the input first which will be our image path and the argument name should be image path and here in the copilot i will write create a function to convert image path to string now I will just copy this function and click on save function after that I will click here to validate my function here so our error has been resolved and now in our download action i will select here convert image to path and in the image item i will select this image item and click on confirm so we need to add a default variable value so i will just copy our image address here and paste in the default and the file name i will name it image and close now i will test so here our images are visible and when i click on the, our download icon our image is downloaded and when i click on our second image it is downloaded with the same name image because we have passed the static name image if we pass the dynamic name it will be downloaded as a, its dynamic name so here our third image is downloaded in this video we learned how to implement download action in our flutter flow we created a pdf widget we displayed our pdf and with the download action we downloaded our pdf also we created an image gallery with the help of grid view and added a stack to download our image separately thank you for choosing knowhow academy as your it source we are always there to help you navigate to the tech world it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you so stay curious and keep learning